hi gemini welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be for gemini sun moon rising venus and north node let's see what comes out for you guys please remember to flip and switch the roles as they apply to your situation and also remember to take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation okay so let's see gemini what do we have for you guys let's pull one angel oracle card all right let's get some energy let's see what the overall energy could possibly be for your reading all right for gemini spirit guys angels what can we get for gemini sun moon rising venus and north node what is going on with gemini spirits <clears throat> what is going on with my gemini so we have honesty and communication wanted to pop out blessings and abundance at the bottom beautiful energy so hmm there's a need for you to be honest in how you feel, communicate effectively so that way people can understand what you're saying possibly. Maybe somebody has a problem communicating or doesn't know how to. Let's see what the card says. Or oh, there's some communication coming in that you've been waiting for. Maybe you're waiting for honesty from someone. You're waiting for somebody to be honest about how they feel or situation. But let's see, it says, you are being given an opportunity to speak your truth. You have reached a point on your journey where you must be honest with yourself and all those around you. If you are holding anything in or feel you need to share something in order to feel free, know that your angel guide is encouraging you to act on this now. When you share your feelings and speak truthfully, you draw the support and light of the universe into your heart. If you are in a challenging position and find it difficult communicating what is in your heart, call in angels and ask them to support you. They want you to know that when you speak with honesty, you attract experiences that lovingly reflect who you really are okay yeah something about communication something about communication i feel like after this after you communicate or say what you need to say yeah that that those blessings and abundance is, is coming in or it's trying to come in here but but let's see i feel like you're going to get it regardless but um you need to stand in your truth and speak your truth or this is somebody you're dealing with all right so let's see for gemini what is going on spirit guides angels for gemini sun moon rising venus north no clear concise messages for gemini spirit please and thank you what is going on okay for gemini page of swords yeah i feel like somebody's learning or this is you learning gemini you're learning how to communicate you're trying to you know um really really pick up some communication skills Maybe you're researching something. Maybe you're researching your feelings so that way you can better explain them because maybe you don't know how to. That's what I do. When I'm feeling something and I, I don't know how to put it into words, I just ask Google. <laughs> I'll be on the internet researching everything. I'm a Taurus Gemini cusp, you guys. I'm, my birthday is May 20th. So, and then I have uh, my Mercury is in Gemini. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and it's in my ninth house, I think. My ninth house, which is Sagittarius, the planet of Jupiter philosophy wisdom so that explains why i do why you know why i carry myself like that but gemini's are very witty and they're very smart you guys are very very smart okay i'm right there on the cusp so I'm, I'm with you guys i feel where you're coming from i'm not a really good communicator either i'm a really good writer so maybe you guys should write out something or write to this person that you want to speak to possibly okay so let, let's see what else for um what's going on with gemini spirit like this what yeah i use like this so play it oh, yeah i guess okay. so seven of swords yeah this could be running away from the communication or you lied about something or someone lied about something or someone is lying okay being sneaky maybe or you know just deceptive let's see what else for gemini the chariot could be dealing with the cancer so you could be moving on or this is somebody just trying to run away from their feelings or run away from this communication that needs to happen. <laughs> They're trying to run away. But I feel like, you know, you're moving away from a situation here. Maybe somebody did lie to you and you're just moving on from it. You're moving forward. Maybe you're trying to strategize how to do something or move, move forward in this situation. We're going to clarify, though. What else for Gemini? The Knight of Swords. Every time I do y'all reading, y'all energy come out heavy in the reading all the time. All these air sign cards. But, um, yeah, there's fast moving energy here. Somebody's coming towards you quick with honest communication. 
They could be a younger, you know, they could have Gemini in their chart or they could be another Gemini. You could be dealing with another Gemini or something or this is you rushing towards someone, trying to be brave and speak your truth. What else for Gemini? All right, Six of Swords. And we have the Page of Cups in reverse. Somebody, somebody is immature. Somebody could be trying to deceive you in a way. I feel like you're moving away from a, a, the lies and deceit like I was feeling anyway. All right. Somebody tried to deceive you. I feel like you're moving on. You could be relocating, moving somewhere else. Maybe you were living under the same roof as this person or close proximity to them or something like that. But the page of cups in reverse is somebody that's immature. They're very manipulative. They're emotionally immature here. They are trying to deceive you in some type of way, or they have, I don't know. That's looking really um, sketchy. <laughs> it doesn't look really um, truthful at all. Somebody could need to heal from some abandonment issues, some um, abuse, okay? Some childhood issues or something like that. But there's, there's something about bad news or Somebody is maybe envious or vindictive here and they're trying to you need, maybe need to stand up for yourself or tell this person off or something so they can stop fucking with you. But I feel like you're moving away from it. Somebody's just attention seeking. What else is going on? You could be moving away from someone that's very promiscuous. They cheated on you or they lied to you. They could be trying to do something to your vehicle. Maybe somebody stole a vehicle or something like that and you call the police on them or... You're needing to call the police on them because I feel like they're upset or they're mad. What else for Gemini? The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to be single. You're working on your abundance here. If you have a business that's growing, some of you guys could be on the tour of Gemini cusp like me. But I do feel like um, you just want to be single. You want to be independent. You want to be free of this anyway. I mean, whether you want to go to some, towards someone else or not, you just want to be free. You just want to feel free. Yeah, there's something here that's going to help your finances grow as well. Could be taking action on your finances right now, but well, let's just see. What else for Gemini? Yeah, Queen of Swords in reverse. It could be a feminine energy around you that's upset or angry. They're very bitter, controlling, vindictive, spiteful. This person is a liar and they're mad because they, they're getting caught in their lies or you see through the shit and that's why you're moving on. The page of swords yeah this person is watching you or you're watching this person act like a damn fool or something ah, the boogie. Uh -uh. Wait, uh -uh. Uh -uh. Shh. you and you in that game you gotta relax so um yeah i feel, I feel like i feel like you're just observing you're observing this person it's like damn how could somebody be so immature <laughs> Or you're seeing right through this person here. You're seeing right through them. They can't fool you. But, um, or this person is just watching you to see how they can come in and, and hurt you in a way. But let, let's just see what this is. Maybe you need to stand up for yourself because they are causing injustice in your life. This is you that needs to communicate bluntly and clearly towards this person because this is how they do you. But they're in reverse though. They're, they're not an adopt. They don't know how to handle. And I feel like because you're rejecting their offer and moving away from it and choosing to be single and work on yourself, they're mad. The Queen of Souls in reverse could also be just be you needing to set boundaries. Set strong boundaries. You're, you know, right now you're not doing so possibly. But let, let's just see. Um, what is the Seven of Swords right here for Gemini? What is the Seven of Swords? The King of Swords, yeah. So th this could be you of masculine energy that's setting boundaries here. And being truthful, being authentic, saying what they need to say, cutting people out. Somebody here could be a police officer or something about, I keep hearing the police, but somebody here could work in the military. Um, I was getting ready to say salesman. <laughs> That's not the king of swords, but the military, a policeman, some type of law enforcement, maybe a judge, a lawyer. What is the um, seven of swords right here for Gemini? Please. The knight of pentacles. Yeah, somebody try to maybe do something to your finances or slow it down. 
slow down your pentacles or stop your movement forward, stop your progress or something here is coming in slow because somebody tried to deceive you in a way. They did something here. I feel like you had something coming in that was stable. It was, it was honorable and they stole it from you or they tried to do something to slow it down. This person could have acted like they tried to offer you something and it was a setup or a scam or something. What is the Seven of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles? The Justice wanted to come out. What is the Seven of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles wanted to come out. Yeah. So this is you. I feel like you're free of that. You don't want to deal with it. This person could still be trying to do something to you to slow down your progress. But this is you. I feel like somebody's jealous because you're very independent. You're self-sufficient. You're a very reliable person. You're grounded. Okay, you could be beautiful or handsome. All right. You have your own business or your money is just flourishing and somebody just wants to take that away from you or this could be your person that somebody's jealous over or jealous about you could have a bitter baby mama or bitter whoever that's in your life that is jealous of you and your person or you and somebody that you want to be with maybe but you know it could go so many ways somebody here could have been materialistic and very money hungry and they they stole something from you and tried to slow your pentacles down here yeah, because I feel like you had the Nine of Pentacles. Now you're down to the Knight of Pentacles where it's slow, it's stagnant, it's completely stopped. Your money flow has stopped. And it's because this person, whatever they were doing, or whoever these people are in your energy. What is this chariot right here for Gemini? The Empress. Okay, you could be going towards a Divine Feminine, Taurus, or Libra energy. Or this is you moving on from that Baby Mama energy that I was feeling. Baby Mama, Baby Daddy, whatever. Flip, flip and switch the roles. Okay, but... Yeah, I feel like you want to create something new for yourself. So you're moving forward. You're very determined to either go towards this person or just start something new elsewhere. Yeah, the lovers wanted to pop out. So it could be a strong, yeah, with the four wands right here, strong twin flame connection that you're going towards. That's you, Gemini. Yeah, you're moving forward to a connection. Maybe you chose the wrong lover or something like that. But I do feel like you're moving towards your empress or this is where you want to go. And somebody's trying to stop you from financially, you know, um, being secure financially. So that way you won't be able to offer this person nothing or you won't be able to move forward, you know. People are fucking, this comes up in so many readings, it's ridiculous. Like every, all 12 zodiac signs, <laughs> literally. Who's this empress for Gemini? Who's this empress? The emperor, wow. Yeah, you and your person, you and your divine masculine. Beautiful. Yeah, the four of wands is still at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so you and your person are coming together quickly with the eight of wands or this communication is coming in fast. Whatever this is. Yeah, beautiful energy. You're determined to get this person. I love that. Yeah. Could be an Aries. Yeah, eight of cups. You're walking away from things that are not serving you emotionally. Let's see, what is the knight of swords? For Gemini, what is this Knight of Swords? The King of Swords, yeah, this is you maturing. You went from the Knight to the King. So you're telling this Queen of Swords in reverse, this whole to back off. You're staying strong in your decision. Okay, you're you're taking up for yourself. You're saying what you have to say. All right, it could be that this person is, um, I don't know, maybe you called the police on them or there's something going on in court with you and this person, but they're, they're mad, I feel. I feel like they're mad. And I feel like you are standing up for yourself. You're being brave, you're being bold and very blunt in your communication. You're very cold towards this person, just like they're cold towards you, but they're doing it in a nasty way versus how you're doing it. You're just serious about, and they don't like that. They don't like that. So, okay. And you're cutting this person out. What else for the Knight of Swords? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. You're not happy here in reverse. You're not happy here. This is not where you want to spend the rest of your life with or who you want to spend the rest of your life with. And they're mad. This family situation is it's just, you know, it's just over. And somebody's not happy about it. Yeah. What is this page of cups in reverse? It could be trying to use children as a pawn or yeah, a queen of swords right here, upright. So this person is trying to come back and apologize to you. And because you didn't accept their apology or you're not going to, they're going to turn into this queen of swords in reverse right here. Yeah, they're, they're trying to come towards you very blunt, but they're a liar and they're a cheater. And you notice know about this person. 
Maybe they're trying to tell you something about your child or something like that. But you know that they're maybe lying or trying to use the child and manipulate you in a way. What else with the Page of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Swords? Yeah, judgment in reverse. Wrong decision. Don't go back, Gemini. <laughs> Don't go back to their ass. But yeah, they're getting karma for something. This person is very unawakened. They're very unaware of how they tr treat others. I feel like they are aware, though. They are aware. They do have some type of self-awareness. I mean, they, they are aware how they treat people. They just don't care. Okay, this person just doesn't give a fuck. They could be gossiping or spreading rumors or spreading lies or something like that. What is this judgment in reverse? What is this judgment in reverse? Yeah, the death card. Because something is over. It could be dealing with the Scorpio. Something is just dead in the water. It's over. It's done. And you don't want to be bothered. Just period. You're transforming. You're the one transforming here. They're not. Yeah, you're in hermit mode. You're going through a spiritual awakening. Could be dealing with the Virgo. Yeah, it's over. <clears throat> so they're, they're mad. Typical. Typical bitter baby mama, baby daddy bullshit. 1122 could be significant. Those are twin flame numbers to me. I'm on a twin flame journey. So you could be seeing those numbers. Let's see, what is this Six of Swords right here for Gemini? Yeah, the devil. You moving away from this person. Could be a Capricorn. This toxic energy, this, this attachment that you have with this person. Okay, you're moving away. Yeah. What, what else for the Six of Swords? The Four of Cups. Yeah, and ignoring their offer. <laughs> okay, they're trying to offer you something you're ignoring. I feel like this is the past energy too, where you missed opportunities dealing with this devil energy, this toxic energy. You missed opportunity with your person by being stuck in the past. But I feel like now you realize you're not missing any more opportunities with your person. So you're moving on. You're either moving closer to your person or you're moving into a new home, just period, or a new place or something. Maybe moving with some friends or family until you can get on your feet because staying stuck here ain't the key, ain't the answer. You can't stay here until you get your shit together. No, you need to move away from this quickly. Expeditiously. But yeah, this um cup that's being offered to you, you're ignoring it. Or I feel like this is you missing an opportunity with your person. You ignore their offer to be stuck in this bullshit. Yeah, what is this nine of pentacles for Gemini? The strength card. Yeah, you're finding that strength and that courage to be single Enjoy your singlehood for a minute, right? Enjoy yourself before you get into a relationship or connect with your twin. You know, um, this is you being brave and being courageous. Working through your fears, okay? This Because this person could have been codependent on you and you, them, for whatever reason. But I feel like you're moving through that. Yeah, your, um, your money is going to look good. It's going to grow here. You're learning how to stay grounded and stable. What is this Nine of Pentacles with the Strength card? The Five of Swords. <laughs> I feel like you're going to have the last laugh. Wow, the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. This is a strong connection, this, this connection here. Especially a sexual connection is very strong. But I feel like you two love each other. It's definitely love here. But... Yeah, you, I feel like you're going to have the last laugh. Not like you're trying to do something on purpose, but you're just letting shit go. You're letting, you're dropping your defenses here. And um, you're just letting this person run around and run amok so they can drive them own selves in the hole. Okay, they'd be their own demise because you're not dealing with it. You just want to be single, abundant. This person could be jealous of this person that you're trying to go towards. They could be the single, abundant ones. Okay, and, and they're very strong. They're very bold. And somebody's jealous of this person possibly yeah you're learning how to fight your battles you're taming yourself like no let me not fuck with this person or, or get into an argument with them or even just say anything back to them before i be in their position looking stupid yeah what is the queen of swords in reverse right here doing yeah they're heartbroken this person is heartbroken here they don't know how to deal with it though they're very vindictive and spiteful and revengeful they're going to get you back they want their lick back <laughs> this person wants their lick back i saw the chariot again so this person i don't know they keep doing this shit yeah and they're trying to collab with other people to i don't know to kind of like hurt you in a way because they're hurt you know they like to play get back here this person very childish 
What is the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Three of Swords? Yeah, Knight of Swords. This is them pissed off. They're mad. They're mad. They're they're enraged. Like <laughs> they're pissed. This person. Oh, this is you telling them off and moving forward. What else for the Queen of Swords in reverse? Yeah, Knight of Cups. I feel like you're moving on and you're taking your offer somewhere else. But this could be them trying to come back towards you. And you're walking away. You know that this is not a truthful offer. And you know, you know that they're doing this because they're hurt. And they just want you back in their energy. Or you know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. Yeah, you caused a tired moment in this person's life when you left their ass. But they're causing one in yours too. And it needs to be broken down that way. This person is going to get karma for whatever they're doing. So it don't even matter. You just don't take the bait. <laughs> That's all that matters here. That's what I do. I just let people be stupid. As long as you don't put your hands on me, I'm cool. But I just let people run amok and act dumb. Because, I mean, it's not me that's going to have to deal with the aftermath. It's them. So, hey. It's worked for me this, thus far. What is this page of swords for Gemini? The ace of swords. And the sun, yeah. You are completely enlightened. You see right through whatever this is. Okay, and I feel like you're learning a lot about yourself and the people that you've been dealing with or this person that you've dealt with here. I feel like you found out where your happiness lies, what makes you happy, what you want out of life. Yeah, you want something traditional. You want a long-term commitment. You want something stable. I feel like your morals, your integrity, your values, okay, your beliefs don't align with this person anymore. Okay, this person wants something different from you. They just don't understand that they're too immature to understand that you outgrew this person. You're growing on a daily basis and this person likes to stay stuck and cause drama and be mean. <laughs> so I feel like, yeah, something here is going to be a success for you. The knowledge that, that you're acquiring right now is going to be um, good for you in the long run because you're going to see that this is just not where it's at. <laughs> so there's going to be a breakthrough happening where you're going to be illuminated or this is you right now being illuminated because you're observing something. You're looking at something. And you see right through the illusions that this person is trying to cause or the madness that they're trying to cause here. You know that it's a part of your journey. This is something. It's, it's a lesson here. Yeah. There could be a victory in court um, about a child here. You could be getting custody of a child or something. But let's see. Let's get an elemental oracle card for you guys, Gemini. Okay. One card for Gemini spirit, please. One card for Gemini, please and thank you. And here we have discipline, time, yeah. Everything is happening in divine timing here. Number 39, grounding this. Yeah, keep grounding your energy. Okay, don't give this person nothing to, to, to complain about. Or I mean, they're already complaining. That's what they do. But I'm saying don't give this, this person nothing to call the police on you about or anything like that. You don't want to get in no trouble dealing with this person. But yeah, I feel like things are happening in divine timing. Just have patience, I'm hearing. Tame the beast within. <laughs> okay, discipline. I feel like you are being disciplined right now because um, there's some conflict. We have 41, which is five. So conflict, chaos. And you're learning how to work through that and not feed into the bullshit. Just period. Let's see what the card says. You're learning how to be patient as well. Let's see what a little bit of the card. It says, find out the causes of your procrastination or resistance. Do not miss your opportunity. Someone is wasting your time. Be aware of this. You have finite time on this planet, so use it well. Yeah. You know that someone is wasting your time. This is air energy. That's you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be dealing with one of those signs. But yeah, you're definitely realizing that someone is a waste of time and you're learning how to um, combat this energy um, in a healthy way. Yeah, so yeah, guys, this was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Gemini.